What is up ladies and gentlemen, we're back We're back here for yet another awesome fishing video. I'm hoping it's gonna be good, but I'm down here at this pond. Um, I literally just found this off of Google Maps. I wasn't even planning on this pond actually working. I thought there was like, cause there's a gate right over there. Uh, you guys probably won't be able to see it, but there's a gate over there and I was actually looking on Google Maps and it looked like the gate went all the way around the pond. So I wasn't, I didn't try to do an intro and show you guys Google Maps and everything, um, which I can, I'll show it to you guys here in just a second. But this is actually at a golf course and this one is another in another city that is right next to the city where I live in. And this, the company that owns this golf course also owns a golf course in my city that I got kicked out of. So we'll see if they kick me out. Um, I've got a fluke and a frog tied on right now. Um, just fishing this little pond. There's actually, I believe, three ponds right here. So um, if I don't get kicked out of this one and not, I don't catch any fish, then I might try another one right back over there. But I'm, I'm actually super happy because the first pond I went to, I was gonna make a video at um, and uh, it was closed. Yeah, it was closed. It's like a public farm pond and or it's a public pond on a farm and it's it was closed it was it, there was a sign saying no fishing temporarily so i was like oh my gosh so then i got on google maps found this pond and uh we're here fishing so i'm gonna throw around the frog a little bit and then i'm also gonna throw around the fluke and see if i can get some fish so um other than that let's get to fishing Oh, we got a fish. We got a fish, guys. We got a fish. First fish of the day. There we go, guys. Check that out. Not a too bad. There we go. Yes. First fish. Check that out. Very, ooh, chunky fish. Check that out, guys. Awesome fish. Got a kind of cool color tone to him. He's kind of goldish, I guess you could say. But there we go. All right, guys. First fish of the the day right there check that out eight the imitator baits bluegill chatterbait this chatterbait's doing absolute work for me and actually right there is line i don't know if you guys can see this right here but there is line coming out of this fish's uh gullet right there check that out there's line coming out of there so uh there's also a guy who just started mowing this place so watch out for the audio but so i'm guessing Somebody was fishing here recently and the fish just absolutely swallowed the hook. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out, cut as try to cut out as deep down as I can. And uh, you know, maybe maybe it will it'll do the fish a little bit better. Okay, so I got about a foot or so of line right there. Check that out right there, guys. Alright, awesome fish. We're gonna get the release. Alrighty guys. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, well, there he well, goes. I didn't mean to, uh, oh, there he swims off right there. I didn't mean to just kind of drop him like that. I was trying to pick him up and release him nicely. But, you know, first fish, there is a lawnmower right next to me. So, you know, but that was great fish. Alright, guys, so now that that lawnmower guy has kind of passed away a little bit, or passed on, he hasn't passed away, but he's passed on a little bit. Um, just want to kind of go over what I was doing for that fish. It was good fish. I tried to do, you know, I couldn't really do anything about that line. Um, I feel bad for the fish, but, you know, it kind of happens to all of us. If we, we hook a fish and then it just kind of breaks off and the line is, and the, and the fish is still hooked and somehow the fish has to get it out. Um, and you can't, we can't really do much about it. But I tried to cut the line back as far as possible. I'm not really sure. That's the first fish I've ever caught that has a... That has had that um i've never caught a fish that's been hooked before and i caught it uh and had to remove something from the fish but caught it on the imitator baits bluegill chatterbait right here this is actually a custom color that i built myself because i own the company so um i kind of put this little color together color pattern together for myself um and uh, it's worked really well so we might possibly coming out be coming out with this color it's just like some green and uh with orange uh so it's kind of like a bluegill color and uh i uh caught that 
fish on a 13 fishing defy black 73 medium heavy rod this is a great rod you guys see it in tons of my videos with a uh, 13 fishing origin a 8 1 to 1 gear ratio reel 50 pound braid and that is how we caught that fish so good fish good fish um but we're gonna try to catch another one all righty guys we are here for a uh, a little midday update maybe it's it's i've been fishing for quite some time let me tell you that um it is now almost it's nine minutes away from being 10 o'clock so i'm gonna darken that up a little bit there we go um but it's it's not going too good well like i've well you've we, i've caught that one fish and the one fish only my camera this camera the big camera is on low like it's flashing red right now so i failed to bring another camera battery um i do have a portable one for my gopro so i'm going to always be running that one actually it's running right now as well but i've been throwing the chatter baits i've i've tried different colored chatter baits um uh, i'm i've been tossing around a couple minutes the uh Guggen baits bandito bug right there juicy little, juicy little thing i've only been fishing right here though um so i need to head on down there with the bandito bug i fished down there with the uh with the uh chatterbait but still no luck man it is getting really sunny wow okay there we go that's a little bit better but um yeah so i just kind of wanted to give you guys a little midday update a little mid fishing segment time update deal um, this might even be a little bit of a vlog because I'm I probably need to head to Chick-fil-a soon um, that's where I want to go eat but you know if I'm if I hopefully if I can get another fish then I'll stay here a little bit longer and I might miss the chick-fil-a breakfast but um, other than that just kind of wanted to pop in with you guys I hope you guys are enjoying this video a little bit um, yeah, I don't really know how much or what else to say. I'm just just almost 10 o'clock, and I've only caught one fish and been fishing the ponds for a couple hours now. So, um, you know, that's that's kind of how fishing goes sometimes. Like I was fishing with a kid last night um, who he wanted me to he wanted me to take him out, and uh, he was like, oh, "We only caught two fish," and so and he was like, "Well, you know, that's why it's called fishing, not just catching." So. And he is completely right for this video. So, um, other than that, I'm gonna get back up off the ground. I'm gonna take take my stuff right here and head down the head down yonder over there to that down there, you know. Um, and I'm gonna toss this bandita bug around a little bit. They might be deeper now, um, and then I might toss on a swim jig or something like that, or maybe even a crankbait. You guys don't see me throw crankbaits much, but there's not too much grass like casting straight out to the middle. So I might tie on one of those and it gets me down a little bit deeper. But uh, yeah, let's try that. Oh, we got one. We got a fish. Just popped it out some grass. Oh my gosh, guys, holy cow. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This is a giant bass. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, guys. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, that is a big bass. That's a big bass right there. That is a big bass. Oh my gosh. Bet you this guy hasn't been caught much. Oh man, oh my gosh. On the bandito bug, the bandito came off. Look at that, not even inside the mouth, on the outside of his mouth. I was popping it out of some grass, it wouldn't ever come out. Oh my gosh, yes guys, yes, yes. That is awesome. All right guys, check that beautiful bass out right there. Absolutely hammered the Guggenbaits bandito bug. I can't show it to you guys because of the bandito bug actually fell out, but I was trying to pop it out some grass. There's lawnmowers in the background, they're still mowing. But uh, I, I was trying to pop it out some grass and it wouldn't come, and then this fish just hammered it. And it just got really heavy. I couldn't move them, set that hook. Um, and that was the fight right there, but check that fish out. That is a stud. I've actually got my scale right here, which is awesome because I can weigh him now. 
Um, it's probably going to be in kilograms though. Yep, it will be. I can't figure out how to uh, how to get it out of kilograms. If you guys know how to, feel free to comment down below. But we are going to get a weight on this sucker. One point six four. So I believe kilograms is right about like half or so of uh, of pounds. So it's one point six four kilograms. So just about a three pound fish, maybe three and a half pounds. But look at that absolute beauty. We're gonna get her back. All right, guys. Oh, look at that beauty right there. Beautiful fish, right there. All right ready to go goodbye big bertha yes that is all i wanted to do for you guys today come out here to a golf course pond i've never fished these ponds before caught one fish it's been a straight struggle for me as of lately toss out the bandita bug get it hung up a little bit in some grass pop it out of there and just smoke like a three pounder so that's awesome holy cow yes guys all right guys well i i have moved back to uh, an area where i started i started uh right up over this over this little hill right here i've been flipping around these these little this little grass these little grass patches and everything for the past couple minutes but i think i am uh, i'm gonna end today's video i'm not gonna sign off quite yet i'm gonna take y'all along with me a little bit more of the day probably but i'm gonna head back to my car that was the final cast i'm gonna get everything right here we got the camera the backpack and the other rod and uh, we're gonna head back to my car throw everything in and i might go grab something for breakfast i haven't had breakfast yet but it's also getting closer to like lunch time so we'll see what we do you know Alrighty guys, well I just got home from uh, from fishing and I actually stopped by the bank um, to do some do some money stuff because that's what you do at the bank. Um, but I, I actually didn't go anywhere. I remembered that yesterday I made some good old chocolate chip muffins. So I'm about to chow down on some chocolate chip muffins for breakfast. Get a good old glass of milk and uh, have a great time, download some of this, all this footage and get editing for you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys want the chatterbait, yeah, 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 I caught a fish on chatterbait. Yes, yes, I did. If you guys want the chatterbait or the bandito bugs, those will both, both of those baits will be linked down in the description. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for all the support as of recently. Uh, actually, yesterday on my Instagram, we hit 6,000 followers. So thank you guys for all the all the followers. And uh, thank you guys for the subscribers as well. We've been gaining several each day. Um, but other than that, thank you guys for all the support. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, I will catch you guys on the next episode of LMB Nation. Peace, guys.